and this is the Solaris project. Uh, I've played this a while ago, a long time ago, on uh, the Vive. So it's be interesting to see how how it's progressed and to see it on the PlayStation VR. I'm sort of looking around at the moment. It does feel very very awesome. Uh, one thing I do note is is the PlayStation Move controllers. Yay! Except they're they're not quite where they actually are in real life. <laughs> they're tracking. Okay, etc. Uh, I feel like I should be out of being in airplanes. Yeah. To me, to me. Oh well, over there, over there. But um, if I do that, you see how they're crossing each other. Uh, that is actually where the ball is of the of this one. So it, it's it's about there. So the whole control pad is up by about two inches. Uh, let's just. Uh, I was trying to realign, but of course, options button is also okay. Okay. Controller rotation. Okay. Warp speed. Move rotation. I don't like comfort rotation because comfort rotation is like yink, yink. Yeah, it gets a bit frustrating. And we'll go for walking rather than teleportation. Use feet and miles. Okay, everything else seems okay. It's a nice interface as well. It should be interesting as well, because uh, obviously on the PlayStation VR you don't get a chaff phone. <laughs> so, whereas on the Vive, if I step forward, a wall will appear to say, Hey, Bozo, step further forward, you're going to hit a wall. Uh, it doesn't work like that on the PlayStation. In the year 2115, scientists had to invite a rogue class B star travelling towards us. Uh, Earth and the solar system would be destroyed. Oh no! The Putler ships were launched in 2149. Three giant colony ships which carried thousands to a safe zone near Pluto. 2115, uh, 51, the Earth was destroyed. In order to go, our last resources were scrambled and five scout ships were sent to five distant worlds. These pioneers began our first interstellar journal to boldly go where mankind may begin anew. No, it's to boldly go where no man has gone before. I do wish this was voiced over. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It doesn't matter how much I play VR, I'm always in awe of it. <laughs> and now I want to play Kerbals like this. Can you imagine playing Kerbals like this? How awesome would that be? And that's pretty much how I play Kerbals. I think I broke it. Ha, ha, ha. 
I can hear these distant fuds and clatters. I'm guessing my guy's got his eyes closed. He's just thinking happy thoughts. <laughs> There's a lot of clapping. I'm hoping that uh, NASA took out insurance. Okay. Oh, it's raining bits of ship. So I'm just taking a second to admire the view. I do feel like... Oh no, now I am right height. World independent local survival overseer node active. Wilson interfacing with operator. <laughs> operator vital signs detected. Oh, it had to be called Wilson, didn't it? In your face, Tom Hanks. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Hanks. Okay. Okay, so that's about to move. Yeah, I kind of remembered that from the old one that, uh, that one button, that rock on rock made sharp rock. Be nice of it to tell us. Come on, I'm ducked down. I can he duck any further? Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Ah. Okay, so we're going to go the way that shows. Okay. So jump. Do we have to press the duck button? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> God, this feels weird. I'm only two feet tall. Okay. And we had a. I found a jump button a minute ago. There we go. I probably didn't want to do that to the can. Please follow survival training. It's all up in flames. I need to report back to Prolos Command somehow. Better have a look around and see if anyone or anything made it. 
Okay, so that's the Ford Vector. That doesn't feel like Ford Vector. Ford feels like it's over there somewhere. Hmm. My imagination saw his Ford Vector moving. I think that might be a waypoint. Oh, wait for fluids. I can't actually read that. Uh, heat stroke, starvation, 0%, dehydration, 0%. Okay, so put that into storage for now. text is very blurry. Find a place to take shelter. I do like the way this is done though. Another dented can. I guess I don't need to at the moment. Well, it's still telling me to. Okay, how do I drink? Drink from a fresh water source. I'd love to, but I don't know how. Okay, let's check the options. Controls, controls. Okay. Dump, toggle, crouch. Move to location. Pick up, eat, activate. Okay. I'm sure I tried that. <laughs> Never mind. 
grab him some food. Now, I'd much prefer to return in real life, but to be honest, with PlayStation tracking, it's always best to use buttons to, to turn. Because the camera, you've only got one camera detecting everything. <laughs> it says turn it manually. I'm actually ignoring the objective, huh? New forward factors this way. Are you all forward? I think that's food. Mmm, ferns. Tasty. Okay, oil and apply it to the torch. Okay, we kind of made a makeshift torch by accident, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, oil and apply it to the torch. Okay. Just got to dunk the whole thing in. That is definitely a torch. Has it been applied? Ah! Oh, that's... That's a missed opportunity there. <laughs> hmm. And now the torts. Fire! <laughs> Yay! Connection established. Define success. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, yay, we found a planet. On the other hand, uh, it may have dinged the ship a little. Whoa. There we go. Is 
a nice easy inventory system to use once you get used to it. Okay, I don't like the look of whatever these are. Oh. There's light over there. Nights are very cold. Yeah. Okay. Not Morse code as far as I can see. Although, I only know SOS in Morse code. To be honest, everybody should learn SOS. Ooh. You a cave? Down. Oh yeah, you can't actually. I don't know why they did that. I I would have it so you can physically duck as well. Because this feels weird. I'm hoping this torts is infinite, otherwise I could be in trouble. Activated something off in the distance. Nice. Starvation imminent. I can't see any switches or anything. We definitely activated something else in the background over there. Can't activate it again. So I'm losing tracking, so bear with me one second. Right, the camera's actually over there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, right, let's make a go. Oh, come on, I ate a plant.
quality good. Okay, that was much more effective. Okay, so calories is our food. 1.6 L litres of water. And we've had 13.2 hours of sleep. Sleeping gives you up to 100 health per hour. Let's sleep. Like a sleep, give us some movement speed and body temperature. Oh, that can be four hours. Okay. Really, we, we want to only come out. We really want to sleep in that cave until night, uh, until daytime. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> I suppose I've warmed myself up a little bit. I thought I heard footsteps in the sand. Oh, it, it kind of is daytime. That looks almost man made. Oh, what's that? to eat it.
Do we still have my sharp rock? No. So all I can do is set fire to it. Okay. Don't really want to set fire to it. minute I thought I'd just done it wrong but no it allows you to mark your location Welcome to the stream. And hello! So I can't see Tet, so I'm relying on Tet to speak. Rafa for you to Clitement resistant hunger devices. Nice. Oh, it does not sound healthy behind me. Oh. Yes, I've explored a mysterious cave with the waves of energy coming out of. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Find a way into the cave. I would just climb in there, but the game's not going to let me. Cave and investigate the sound. You can speed up the speech in broadcast options. Yeah, unfortunately, when I speed it up, I, I find it hard to understand. <laughs> it's like Cats 22. It sounds really stupid when it's slow, but it's hard to understand when it's fast. Okay, how are we going to get into this? Ah. Uh. Oh, let's make sure I'm facing the camp. No, I'm facing away from the camp. Went, he went to hell. <laughs> okay. Right, there's got to be something over here, maybe. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a picture of a doggy. How is this game? Uh, to be honest, this is my first try of it uh, on, on the PlayStation VR, anyway. I played it a little bit on PC a long time ago. Uh, yeah, it's quite good. Uh, the text on the controller, this text is easy to read, but the small text does get a little bit annoying to read. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the environment is awesome. Now I'm just trying to work out how to get into this cave at the moment. Obviously, you've got the option for teleport, and you've got the option for non-smooth move, if you prefer that. I prefer walking myself, uh, but I've got a very strong VR stomach. Uh, uh, what we got? Can we bash through that with a rock? That seems... Is it just an exploration game? I don't know, there doesn't appear to be any combat. Uh, I would say exploration mixed with um, survival and puzzle. Because you notice my calories are going down and my fluid is going down, so I've got to be careful of both. To which so I've got uh, a couple empty bottles I need to find more water for. And some cans that I smashed open with a rock. And a torch that I made. Oh, it's burned forever! Oh, that's nice. I'm still kind of getting used to controls. See, 
I must admit, if I was here in real life, I would just, uh, you know, so it be there. Crafting. It does indeed. Uh, in world crafting. I can actually show you an advantage, uh, an example. There's a couple of things I don't like though. Um, when I lit this, I had to cover it in oil. There's an oil container, so naturally I tried to dunk it. That doesn't work, you've got to hold it to activate. And to crawl, you can't just physically hunker down, you have to push a button to crawl. So that, that breaks the immersion a little bit. But these are small things. VR is still in its infantry. Uh, infantry? Infancy, even. Oh, blimey. Okay. Oh, wow. Bits of my ship still appear to be falling. It seems like most VR games still use button crouch. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I, I think if Sony spent a bit more money on um, inventing a new tracking system, because these PlayStation moves have been around, around a while now, uh, we might see a bit more a bit more interaction with our environment. I, mean, I must admit, I'm most excited for Skyrim. Uh, of course, that's going to be button. Okay, we're, we're looking for an alternative way into this cave as well. Denying the signals in the PDA. Okay. Heat stroke. Okay, let's uh, take that away. Oh, look, an old missile. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go touch it. Your survival is of paramount importance to the continued existence of mankind. <laughs> I love the fact that this thing's called Wilson. Imminent heat stroke. Head need to at least split the camera connector and use to Yeah, that would be nice. The hell is that? Oh! Camera is for tracking. Okay, that's kind of cool. I have no idea of its purpose, but because that doesn't seem like far enough to. Uh... Oh, I wonder. I never seen something that said deploy teleporter. And that does automatically switch to that. So how do we actually teleport to that? Ah! Okay, okay, we've got a teleporter now. Yeah, if they could switch the... Uh, split the camera and have one behind you, that would solve a lot. Okay. Um... Sorry, my, my inventory's gone a little bit weird, as you can see. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I've managed to glitch it a little bit. There we go. Please tell me I still have a water bottle. Oh man. Emergency. Acute dehydration detected. 
You broke it. I did indeed. <laughs> oh man. Empty water bottles. That's a beacon. Okay, okay. We need to find water. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has to be fresh water. I know where there is some. A little bit of a. Oh, water! Ah! Uh, oh, come on, game! It's rainwater! Let me drink it! Oh, sugar! Oh my god! This is the fastest I can move! <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die! Run, you fool, run! <laughs> Awesome. There's a cave around here that's got some water sources in it. Hopefully I can get to it before I get killed. the entrance, it was around here somewhere. Warning. Operator dehydrated. Yep, operator away, operator's dehydrated. Operator's trying to fix, it, fix the problem. I think this was the cave. Oh man, this wasn't the right cave, I don't think. Yeah, see, crawling's a bit annoying. Okay, I'm probably going to die, but I activated something there that opened something up here uh, earlier. I couldn't figure out how to get in there, but now I've got a teleporter. Okay, I think I just found either food or drink, I'm not too sure which. Alright, let me just uh, confirm that I'm facing the camera. I am not. An unlimited food source. Oh. 
Okay. We can really do this. Ah, I hear water. Ah, water. Okay, now we... Okay, right, so we've got some water at least. While we're at this source, uh, let's just pop the torch down there. I've broken it again. <laughs> right, that's the empty bottles, yep. Okay, there should be another empty bottle about there. Operator, health levels. Oh. That, that is really annoying that I've managed to break it uh, twice now. <laughs> More than twice. It's almost like uh, my head is inside something. But at least we've got two bottles of water. And let's go and investigate. Because when I was running, I saw something off in the distance. Nice, another artifact. Climate resistance, hunger, and dehydration plus one percent. It's really spooky being in these caves. Oh, what's that? He who once established the order was laid to rest. Yeah, when we're somewhere safe, we're going to tell it to sleep. Here looks like a nice place to sleep. We can pretend we're a, uh, a snail. <laughs> sleep not advised. Well, that's not good. Why is sleep not advised? I wonder if it's because I was crouched. Yep. Yeah. I got a bit worried there, because usually in games when they say sleep is not advised or you cannot sleep here, it's because there's monsters nearby. Oh, 
man, that's loud. That's I'm trying to get away without having to crouch. Okay, we're going to tell it to sleep a bit more. I hope the storm passes. This game seems a lot more interesting than I expected. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more to it. Okay, the storm seems to have passed. Okay, let's head back to that cave thing. What we need to try and get into. Oh, bloody. that thing keeps making me jump. These plants all over the place. Okay, my inventory's full at the moment. <laughs> I've still managed to break the inventory. I wonder, if I just recenter my position. Ah, now it works. Okay, okay, it's because I'm moving around. I'm confusing it, it doesn't like you moving around. So you just recenter your your inventory and you're fine. That's weird. I don't want to craft of it. I've been picking these up before. Eleven or twelve, we've got space for it. Ah, okay, so the centre of it is to craft of it, the outsides of it is to pick it up. I wish I'd known that before, because there's some plants uh, nearby that contain water as well as food. Oh man, such so a nicely built uh, area. <laughs> saw lightning off in the distance, but uh-oh. Oh, I forgot. I've got movement set to the stick rather than the headset. Because I like being able to look around while I'm moving. The world's biggest Venus flytraps. forgotten. Oh, 
one second. I'm going to bring the difficulty down to 50% because I just want to, want to test the theory. Okay, I, th I think difficulty just changes how your food and water goes down. Okay, that's right. We've got a, an infinite torch, so we don't worry too much about that. Oh man, it is dark in here. Yeah, see, that's how the crafting's done. So the others are. Oh. What just happened? Everything went black. Uh oh. I do like the load screens. <laughs> Very crisp. Oh wow, what is that? Cannot wait to play Skyrim in VR. One more week and a day. I actually set up the um, PlayStation Move camera up on a big platform. <laughs> so it's staring down at me. And that has seemed to improve tracking a hell of a lot. I haven't really had any tracking issues tonight. I'm curious about that up arrow. Yeah, see this text is a bit hard to read. Press ahead and find the source of sound. Distance to forward vector 702 meters. Spare rocks. I'm carrying. Oh, oh. That looks like that might be quite far down. You imagine what the catacombs uh, in Skyrim are going to look like. I kind of think they're going to look a bit like this. Only with monsters. <laughs> right, camera's over that way. Okay.
Okay, that way is daylight, so it's, that's obvious the way it wants me to go. But I want to just have a quick look over here to see if there's any secrets. Nope, dead end. That's weird. Sorry, I try not to bob my head around too much because I know how that bad that looks on uh, in video, but uh, sometimes it's hard not to have a look around. Imagine being the only human survivor of, an it, of a crash and finding yourself on an alien planet. That would be terrifying. Okay, I could do without finding eggs. I could very much do without finding broken eggs. Uh, crap. I want to say maybe they're vegetarians. Okay, I want whatever that is, so let's have a look. Button. There we go. Okay, we're going to meet our plant. Okay, which provides more light? Light crystal. Temperature 10. Okay, so light crystal gives us energy. Because uh, it's uh, heat, sorry. Saves progress. Do you know that's the first save swine I've come across? And I, I'm not 100 percent sure how long I've been streaming for, but uh, I think it's been a while. It's also scary when it does that. Where's it? Tablet for effects. One of the clicker windows. Okay. Okay, I heard something mumble behind me. Lighting these torches, uh, lighting these candles, caused something to activate. Oh, pretty. <laughs> really? The operator is wet. Um, I'm in a puddle. A bloody great big puddle. <laughs> I tried to think what my heartbeat's like at the moment, but uh, only being able to see about two feet in front of you is scary as hell. Sorry. 
Strange food, okay. We are going to have some strange food. Okay, so let's drop. Uh, how do we drop again? There we go. Okay, I got an idea of how to deal with operator wet. Inventory full. I'm hoping that this will dry me off. I don't see any gauge to show how how wet the operator is. Ah, uh, body wetness 35, dry speed. Okay, right, so we are we are drying. That's kinda cool. A lot more survivor y than I'm used to. So later on we can increase our maximum inventory as well. Oh, there we go. We're drying a lot quicker now. We're slightly firing the system. Come on. 6%, 5%. And we're dry. At least we know whatever hatch didn't come this way. Unless it knows how to open and close that door. Ah, so sleeping saves it as well. That's good to know. This is not the way it wanted me to go. Ah, great, more water. I just got myself dry.
I think this is back the way I came. Although this is going up. I may have misplaced myself. Oh, we're back here. Oh, okay. That was a little bizarre. I'm only 19% wet. If I stand by these candles, will that be enough? Okay, what do you reckon? Left or right? Either way, I should face my cameras. You know what? Face the camera, face this way. I say we go this way. Although I'm going to have to take a break in a minute because my legs are starting to hurt. <laughs> Not something you say very often in the game. I'm not sure if that's cheating or not, because you can fire a teleport through, so you would put it through like that and fire it through. But I'm not sure if I'm meant to be able to do that or not. And I'm pretty sure if I'm not meant to be able to do that... <laughs> Okay. I think it was more scared of me than I was of it. Okay, just stay in the light, stay in the light, because I don't think they like the light. I don't think they're hostile. But yeah, why take the chance? 
Ah, oh, great water. Operator lost. You know what, I feel a lot safer when I've got that torch in my hand. I know that's crazy. I am completely and utterly lost. Cross the pool of tidal water to continue uh, uh, continue investigation. Okay, that's not. <laughs> oh man, this is a long way down. Passage of the Travellers. Okay, I heard something growling down there. Now, we're going to sleep to let it save the game. Well, let's face it, if this was real life, you would not be able to sleep. Not, not right in the middle of a corridor like that. Sleep quality, good. Huh. Do not like visitors. Uh, so a UFO came and loads of people came out.
However, uh, here's actually where I'm going to have to leave it for a bit. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Definitely recommend this game. It's definitely worth checking out. If you watch this on YouTube later, uh, then first of all, why didn't you catch me live? And secondly, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, the large part of me wants to sit down and just have a bit of a relax. Another part of me wants to explore even more. Look at that lighting effect. That is just so cool. And I feel like I'm in the depths of the earth. Anyway, bye for now, stream. <laughs>